Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and I bring you guys a discussion video on One Piece Set 2, and I really want to go over these cards with you all today, because these are going to be pretty, pretty exciting uh, additions to the One Piece card game to flush it out and make it a much more uh, interesting game, because I'm not going to lie, One Piece is a cool game, but... Uh, with only such a limited card pool, there's only so much you can play without having mirror matches get started to get a little stale. So now that we have set two, introducing new life into the game, we can discuss new strategies, new card games, and what I'm most excited for. So uh, let's really just get started. This is what the five uh, new decks that I'm most excited for that are coming out, and we'll go from there. Uh, I'm really excited for all these things, so let's just go straight into it. All right, so first things first, we have the new blue Ivanka deck. Uh, Ivanka, if you don't know, is part of the Impel Down Revolutionary Army. So the Revolutionary Army people are finally introduced into the card game. And uh, she is a pretty interesting blue leader. Uh, basically, if you have less than five cards in your hand, or if no cards in your hand, you draw two. The whole gimmick behind Ivanka is that you want to have no cards in hand to get uh, additional effects to keep drawing. It's a really interesting deck. Uh, personally, I don't see the potential. I, this is, everyone in the OCG said this deck's crazy. I have to see it in action because this whole deck's gimmick is having no hand size. Like a lot of their monsters literally just say, hey, uh, let's discard cards from our hand and do things. Which is really weird. But hey, if it's the leader's effect, it's the leader's effect. Drawing two is nice. And uh, it's like playing on the back foot. It's a really interesting play style. I just had to see it in action to see if it's any good. Personally, um, I wish we got more Dolphamingo support, but apparently that's not until set four, which uh, is all about Dress Rosa, apparently. So we'll have to see how that goes. But uh, overall, these cards are really, really cool. Uh, I want to see the potential blue because blue is one of my favorite colors. But for now, these cards are pretty solid, and we'll just have to see where it go from here. All right, so speaking of Impel Down characters, we have Magellan. Uh, if you don't know, both Magellan and Ivanka were introduced in the same arc. Magellan is the Warden of Impel Down. And he is one of the first Navy leaders that we get, even though he is not a Navy card. We'll get to the Navy cards later. But uh, Magellan is a purple, and uh, basically his effect is once returned, when a uh, Dawn card on the field is returned to your Dawn deck, the leader gains a thousand power during this turn. Really, really powerful effect. It is during either player's turn, so if you minus Dawn on your turn or your opponent's, this character is gaining a thousand, which is pretty, pretty swell. But honestly, it's not the leader I'm most excited about. It's the cards for Impel Down I'm most excited about. I think their uh, event cards and their level 5 Magellan is kind of insane. And all their cards are just a really, really cool control purple deck. The whole gimmick of Magellan or Impel Down is that when you minus Dawn, your opponent minus Dawn. So you're both just minusing Dawn together. But if you're playing a ramp-up strategy, like Purple is, that you can out-ramp your opponent while you just keep minusing Dawn from them, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people play test with these cards yet. I personally really want to see Purple do well. This is the deck that I'm looking to play once Set 2 officially comes out on the 10th, I believe. But until then, we'll just have to see. Uh, I think Magellan is just a really, really cool character, and I think that his cards are aesthetically awesome. I look at that. Uh, his purple poison attack right over here is kind of crazy looking. Not to mention, uh, I think all his effects is minus and for your opponent is pretty cool. And uh, I really like the level 5 purple guy, so we'll just have to go from there and see how it does. And uh, now let's talk about the uh, next most excited uh, character reveal. All right, so now it's time to talk about my friend's favorite uh, card coming out, which is Kinemon. Uh, Kinemon is a new leader for green. Everyone's switching to Kinemon, apparently, for green. And uh, I can definitely see why. This leader is kind of insane, especially once we get the new Odin, who is their new boss monster, which is kind of crazy. I know I'm saying it in, like, Yu-Gi-Oh terms, but uh, the new Odin that's, like, a, a level 8 is kind of insane. And it works great with a Kinemon leader. So, if you don't know, new Kinemon leader says, Once a turn, if you have one or less characters in play, reduce the play of one cost by three or higher. Which is uh, pretty, pretty solid. 
So basically, just allows you to reduce the cost of your characters, allowing them to summon them a lot easier, which is kind of insane. So you can play bigger green characters and just reduce their costs, which is pretty insane, especially for Odin, who's an 8 drop. So you can reduce his costs and make them easier to summon, which is a godsend because Odin is a beast of a card to deal with. And we'll just have to see how it goes from there. But uh, Green Wano is, uh, or Green Kinemon, looks like a very powerful deck this coming format. And we'll just have to see where it goes from here. All right, so now we got to talk about the Whitebeard Pirates because they are introduced. Set 2 is focusing on the Marine for Ward. That's why we're getting not only the Whitebeard Pirates, but also the Marines, which will be, spoil alert, our final talk to do. Uh, Whitebeard is such a cool leader. He's our first leader with six life. Which is kind of insane if you think about it. Now his whole drawback is that he adds one life from his uh, of what we call his life to his hand every turn, which sucks. So he is a quick play deck. I mean, now he wants to kill you very fast, but he is red, so he's aggro, which makes sense. Uh, I think he's a really, really cool leader, and ultimately, I want to see him do well. I know everyone's freaking out about the ace deck, which is also exist. But I personally don't know anything about the Ace deck, so I'm not really excited about it because I don't really know anything about it. I know everyone's like, ooh, the Ace leader is so insane, but I'm like, I really don't know it. So I can't really say it. I'm so excited for it because I don't know. But uh, all the Whitebeard Pirates, I am excited for. The Marco level 4, that's a blocker, is pretty insane. Just resurrects itself. Whitebeard himself is crazy. Uh, all the commanders and all the Whitebeard cards are just kind of cool. And I really want to see them go from here. I'm super excited. We'll just have to see where this archetype goes. And finally, we got to talk about the Marines. All right, so for set two, this is the biggest uh, cards. We have a new color. So we are no longer just a four color uh, decks. We no longer just have green, purple, blue, and uh, red. We now have black as a new color into our uh, ranks and black are the marines and our whole gimmick is that they want to KO your cards by lowering your monsters at, uh, attack or level and then KOing them really really cool design uh, as you can see smoker is one of our leaders and we also have big boy uh, admiral over here ready to freeze the competition and lower everyone uh, I really think the marines have potential to be great all their cards look insane and there's such a different play style from everything that who knows where they'll fall into the meta. I know a lot of people who have been playtesting online say, oh, it's already figured out. But personally, it's not figured out until the cards are actually in front of us. So we'll just have to see. And uh, yeah, this is the new cards. I'm super excited. Uh, I know we're getting a structure deck for the Marines soon enough with Alkainu as the leader. But until then, we have Smoker and I think Garp. Garb's going to be a leader too. I think he's red-black, but I don't know if he comes out set too. But uh, I'm super excited to go over these cards with you. I can't wait for these cards to come out on Thursday. And I can't wait to open a box. Well, I won't be opening a box because that shit's like $200. But uh, I can't wait to see someone else open a box and do a video on it. But anyway, see you all on the next one. And uh, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>